Amen. All Thank right. Glory Amen. to God. Will you just greet your neighbor and say good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Greet somebody. Glory to God. Put a smile on your yes. face. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Put a smile on your face. That's all some people need. Just a smile. Just somebody to say something to them. Amen. Standing here with scowls on your face looking mean and mad. When God has been better than good to each and every one of us. Glory to God. And I'm so grateful today. I heard uh, Pastor Jane, she was saying as we embarking upon Thanksgiving. Which, which you know the world celebrates for one day. But every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Every day. I'm telling you. It's a day of Thanksgiving. But that one day that we set aside. Glory to God for each time of the year. Glory to God. And we understand that. But we are so thankful today. Amen. Alright, let's go. Come on, put your hands together just like this. Come on.
thank greatly to be praised. When you got up this morning, did you even tell him thank you? Yes, 
kill that thing. He wants to steal that thing. Oh, but he can't have you, baby. Somebody say he tried it, but it didn't work. He tried it, but it didn't work.
because I'm stepping into different territory. I don't, I'm not used to this, but, but God, I'm, Anytime God calls us out of a place where we've been and calls us to a new place, it's always unfamiliar. It's always very uncomfortable. But you gotta do something you've never done before. Yes, Lord. You gotta do something you've never done before. If God is calling you, trust Him. Don't look back. Don't look to the left or to the right. Who's coming with me? He's calling your name. Hallelujah. Will you put your hands together and give God praise in the word? Oh! 
we, we, we gotta, we're waiting for big things to happen. We don't have to wait. God is moving in our life every time you have a time, every time you get a chance to be able to say, God, I thank you for another day. Yeah. That's a blessing by itself. Yes, it is. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. She was saying so many different things. There was so much going through my head while I was just sitting there just then. Let's turn to Mark chapter 11. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 20 through, or 22 through verse 26 in the King James Version. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Mark 11 and 22. Let's stand, please, for the reading of God's word, please, in the house. Let's respect this moment. Respect this word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto what? you, that whatsoever shall say, whatsoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, Come on. and be thou cast into the sea, Come on. and shall not doubt in yes. heart, yes. but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. My God. He shall have whatsoever My he said. Therefore I say unto My you, God. what things soever ye desire yes. when you pray, yes. believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Yes. And when you stand praying, forgive. Yeah. Okay. If you have an oath against any, yeah. that your Father also, in, which is in heaven, may forgive you yes. your trespasses. Yes. 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 That if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. And this is what I want to talk about this morning. Freedom and forgiveness. Come on. Come on. Freedom and forgiveness. Maybe uh -huh. see. Yes, Lord. I know y'all was getting excited about the first part of that scripture. Come but on. I ain't talking about that today, okay? But I really I was tell you, I was really dig, I was really digging what you were saying when you was up here because there was a lot of things that have transpired over the last couple of weeks. Even when we had to uh, preach at New Harvest, there were some things that were said, and, and even what I was talking about last week, when I was talking about uh, fighting the temptation. Yeah. And now she was just telling y'all, are you allowing that thing just to continue to talk to you? Come on. And you ain't saying nothing back? Come on, come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying, I want to say to you this morning, it ain't got, every, every time temptation comes, it does not have to be masked in lust from right. a standpoint right. of view right. of looking at somebody else. That's right. Come on. That's right. It don't have to just be masked in that. Uh-huh. But you got to understand that when temptation does come, it can be masked in a whole lot of other different yeah. areas of your life. That's right. And, and a lot of times, those go undetected a lot of times. Yeah. yeah. So we continue to operate in things that we should be already delivered from. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to talk about this morning freedom and forgiveness because this is probably one of the most disguised things that we, a lot of us, deal with, but we don't think it's serious. Yeah, it's true. But a lot of us are still locked up right now yeah. right. because we haven't forgave. That's right. That's, That's right. good. Yeah. We have not forgiven people that 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 has has wronged us or, or whatever with our relationship and willing, but but we haven't gotten it right. That's right. But we don't understand that we think that we are doing them an injustice, but uh -huh. you are doing yourself. Yeah, that's right about that. An injustice. The injustice simply is that you are asking God for something that you can't get. Come on, right. come on now. It's true. You're asking God for something that you can't get because you won't do your part. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And he's simply saying today, if you want to become free, come on. You got to let it go. Yeah. That's right. Lord, I thank you. See, because thank your, you. your forgiveness hinges on God forgiving you. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's it. That's he just said it in the scripture, yeah. right? That's right. We forgive our will. He said, I, he said, I desire to forgive you. I want to forgive you. But according to what I have wrote, if you don't forgive, I can't forgive you. That's right. That's right. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
How many people really knew that? That they are simply, they are being held hostage. You are, being, you are holding your own self hostage yeah, 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 yeah. when you don't forgive. It's true. It's true. This is defining, I'm defining this, so write this down. Forgiveness is deliberate decision to release feelings of resentment or vengeance towards a person or a group that has harmed you. Yeah. Regardless of whether they actually deserve forgiveness or not, but you just deliberately decide right. to Come let on. it go. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Come on. Come on. That's right. Did you hear that? Come on. It's a deliberate, meaning that it's a, it, I, I decided, I intentionally decided yeah. to not to hold this no more. Yeah. Lay, you lied on me and messed my name up. But I love you enough to forgive you. They lied on me at work and I lost my job. And I was deliberate in my decision to forgive. Yeah, yeah. Because I understood spiritually if I forgive, I'm released. Yes, yes, yes. How many are, look at, think about it. How many are you released from your situation, the thing that you're asking God for, or do you really feel like they've been hurt because you have truly forgiven? Come on, come on. He said it was a deliberate decision to release feelings or resentment or vengeance towards another person. Yeah. Regardless whether they deserve it or not. Come on. Who is the judge here? Come on, come on, that's it. Who is the judge here? Jesus. We we around here trying to validate whether somebody deserves to be forgiven or not. I'm trying to tell you, and I'm trying to encourage you this morning. If you want to become truly free, Come on. you gotta forgive. Yeah, that's Lord it. Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. And just like my wife has said, and it's the truth, the the spirit of offense is running rampant yeah. in the land. It doesn't take a lot to make somebody mad. No, it don't. No, it does not matter. It's simple as not even speaking. Can you send somebody over the edge? Yeah. She didn't speak to me. I'm mad with her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. They didn't acknowledge me. They didn't acknowledge what I did. I'm mad with I'm ready to lead a church. Yeah. Mm. Lord Jesus. And see, what y'all don't understand is a lot of times when we're Sitting like that, God said, I'm just showing you really where you need to come yeah, up. That's yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's true. You need to come up. When you can't, when you know you got an all against your brother, or you know your brother got an all against you, and you deliberately will not go get it right, God said, I'm showing you, you need work. Come on. Come on. It's true. It's true. You still need work. Watch this. Turn to Luke chapter 23. Start at verse 33 through 37. This is when Jesus was being crucified. Luke 23 and 33. And when they were come to the place, which is called Calvary, there they crucified him and the male factors, one on the right hand and the other on the left. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lots. They was killing Jesus. They was laughing at him. They were playing games. They were doing everything they could imagine to, to, to disgrace him in some kind of way. And Jesus simply looks up to his father and says, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. Nope. They really knew who I was. Come on, man. They would not even do it. That's right. 
How many times have you lifted your eyes and say, God, forgive them? Come on, come on. They know now what they're doing. Come on, come Because if we truly are a representation of Jesus Christ, then we should be doing exactly. Yeah. So instead of Ooh. instead of us doing what Jesus had commanded us to do, we're harboring bitterness. Yeah. We're harboring unforgiveness. Yeah. We're harboring things inside of us that are, is not like God, but That's yet right. we say we still are represent of God. Yeah. Right. We can't represent God that That's way. Right. That's right. Come on. So Jesus. At the pinnacle, at the end, the very end of his life, being mishandled all the way, mm -hmm. not only to the cross, all the way until he died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having a heart of forgiveness. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That releases him. That does not bind him up. Mm -hmm. And I just want to get this message to you this morning. Some of us that's sitting in this place this morning have a lot of mud of unforgiveness still sitting inside yeah. of us. Yeah. Uh, hey. Come on. And you don't, like I, like I tell you before, you don't have to raise your hand because you already know. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to tell you something. If we continue on, we ain't doing my fooling and hurting ourselves. Yeah, that's right. The one thing that really keeps me going right now is knowing that I got a good relationship with God. Yeah. But I also, the concerning thing is that I know I'm getting closer to the end. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Do you know that you're getting closer oh, to yeah. your end every of day. your journey every, every day? Yes. And we are making a conscious decision whether we want to do certain things or not. Now that's the truth. Yeah. Come on. There is going to be no excuse as the, all the people that have went before us that's already died. There is going to be no excuse for, for, not, for not doing what Jesus had commanded us to do and live righteous. That's, right. that's going to be no excuse. And that's what he talked about. If you want to become free today, yeah. you need to forgive. Yeah. No matter. There's some people, yeah. have, even in this room and other places, people have been abused. There are some people have been molested. Yeah. There are some people have been raped. Yeah. There are some people that have been in this town in the worst way. Yeah. And not say that the pain ain't there, but Come God on. said you got to let it go. Because it's going to free you. Yeah. We had, some of us had bad parents. Yeah. That instead of, of validating us and helping us become better, they condemned us by the things that they said yeah, to us. Yeah. And we walked around our whole life with those words. Yeah. And we have become what they had told us we was. Come on, yeah. He said, you got to let them go. Let them go. Because on. that's the only way you're going to be able to be free. That's yes. right. Yes. That's what Jesus was saying that you can have an excuse, but because I was example, come on. your excuse is yeah. not valid. Come on, come yeah. on. No excuses, that's right. Jesus. When the last time somebody was killing you and you said, God, Father, forgive me. Oh my God. Come on. Help us, Lord. Come on, yes, Lord. So your little lie, the little lie somebody told you does not compare to what Jesus would do. That's what he was trying to tell you, that he was being free even though they was killing him. Yeah. Because he knew his reward was greater yeah. than his moment. Now, ooh, come on. What you say? Come on now. A temporary moment. Yeah. His reward was greater than his moment. Know how we like to do? We like to get the last word in. We want to get the last say in. I'm the best. I'm the biggest. I'm the baddest. And y'all living in the temporary. Yes, sir. It's time to live in the eternal. Yes, sir. It's starting. To, it's time to set your mind on eternal things. Yes, things that's gonna last perpetual. Yeah. Gonna continue without stoppage. Yeah. Jesus. So Jesus said, "Hey." 
no matter what they do to me. Father God, I love them enough because I even died for the ones that was killing me. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It never said that Jesus died for a certain type of people. No, that's right. Thank you, Jesus. Or that everybody had to be good to Jesus before he oh, No, he died for everybody. Now, whether you accept him, that's all some entirely different, but he died for everybody. He died for the, the one that loved him. And he died for the one that hated him. Yes, he did. My God. Thank you, Lord. And so if you put that all together, make uh, into an understanding that Jesus, if he really truly died for everybody, that means he forgave. Oh, yes. It was right. easy for him to forgive yeah. because it was in him. Yes, Lord. All right. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to tell you something. I was, we was just a day, we was in Hobby Lobby. We was looking for some Christmas stuff. And it had been a long time since I felt this way. And it was just strange. Just trying to get an understanding. We was in now just looking at different things. I, she had, she was going on another aisle. I was looking. And I said, man, this is the most excited I've been about Christmas yeah. in a long time. Yeah. It wasn't so much about the Christmas stuff. Yes. Yeah. It, was the, it was the position that I was in yeah. within myself. Come on, come on. Right. Not because everything was so well. Come on, right. It was because the love that I had in my heart. Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. yes, Lord. I said, God, I thank you for the love that you have given me. Yes, Lord. Thank I can understand why the season it's so exciting because of the love that I had. Yeah. Yeah. It was so much that because I had everything. It wasn't no. even about that. It was just about the 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 feeling and, and the way I was feeling on the inside. Yes. So I love people, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It was people everywhere. I mean, so I was just patient. People move. I mean, you couldn't even stand in one spot for two yeah. seven years to move because of so many people. Yeah. But I was just just patient because I love people. Yeah. Jesus. I said, God. And I say, God, keep my heart. Yes, God. I want to love people. I want to forgive people. Lord. If I if I say something wrong or do something wrong, it was just the other day, and I can I can remember this. And I'm moving. I was uh, we was at work on a Friday afternoon, and one of the guys had I said it wrong or whatever. But he came back and he brought back four his stops he could complete, and he was looking at me and said, I did the best I can. And I really kind of know all my guys and stuff. I said, man. I said, you couldn't be a man that. Uh -huh. I said, man, come on, man. How you, it's 4 o'clock. You still got another hour worth of work. Now, what you doing back so soon? Mm -hmm. I mean, I was on him hard. And over the weekend, God said, yeah. I need you to go back and apologize. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on. <laughs> That's how you do. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. That's the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I was waiting on Monday to get there. Yeah. 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 I was waiting on Monday to get there. As soon as he walked through the door, he could even clock in good. I said, man, hey, man, check this out. He was looking at me the strange and stuff. And I could tell he was still like a little mad at me. I said, man, forgive me, man. I said, I was too hard on you. Yeah, come on, that's it. I said, you can get one out there and get your bed. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's how you do it right there. And he was like, man. He said, man. He said, man, that meant everything to me. Yeah. What you say? He said, man, you know, you always told me, he said, I, be, I always tell everybody you're a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm, 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 I'm the kind of person, it's hard to, for me to get discard somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm the kind of person. That even if you have messed up 10,000 times, it yeah. seems like for me, I can find a way to say, hey man, let's work around it. Let's yeah. keep going. Yeah, right. That's right. Because forgiveness, I understand, it frees me. Come on. Yeah. 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 Come on. It frees me. Let's go to Romans chapter 8. Good teacher. Yeah, this is good. 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 There is, there, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. 
who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And I'm going to pause and, and stop right here for a second. Yeah. And I also wonder why a lot of times people have a hard time forgiving, forgiving other people. Yeah. They have a hard time forgiving other people because they have, they don't even have, they can't even forgive themselves. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They can't even forgive themselves. The word condemnation simply means it, to pronounce to be guilty. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. To sentence to punishment. Yeah. Or to pass judgment against. Now I'm going to tell you something. This word condemnation, this is where a lot of us have never got past, and some of us still struggle now, have not got past something we've done wrong. Yeah. And we sentenced ourselves yeah. to life yeah. in prison. Yeah. 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 That's, That's good. good. That's, That's good. We sentenced ourselves to life in prison. That's so true. Uh -huh. We 20 years removed from that situation and we still in prison. Yeah. 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 One thing that that I was also meditating on how people are when they be when they have been sentenced uh, and put in prison. How somebody been there 40 years, 30 years, mm -hmm. and they spend every day thinking about what they did wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 that's years that's of that's thinking that's about the same thing. That same incident when I was 16, yeah. now I'm 55, still sitting come in there. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. But this is some of the ways that a lot of us are spiritually yeah. the same thing. Yeah. We can't get past what we done did wrong to even be able to move forward. That's that's right. Right. We've got to learn how to forgive ourselves. That's right. That's right. It's the truth. It's the truth. He said there's no condemnation. You heard what I said? He said there's no position for you to punish yourself come on, come on. Uh, because you're in Christ Jesus. You. Because you're not walking after the flesh no come more. On, right. You're walking after the spirit. Yeah. That's right. So why are you holding yourself in prison? To something I've already forgiven you for yeah. and freed you for. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Some of us feel so bad about what we've done wrong and, and had to deal with, and the situation went so wrong. Some of us are ready for the lethal injection to ourselves. Come on. Isn't that something? It's so true. Isn't that something? Yeah. We have sentenced ourselves to death. Come on. Some of us ready to go to the gas chamber. Some of us ready to go to the electric chair within ourselves because we hate ourselves so bad for what we did that one thing wrong. But God say, I have forgiven you. Why haven't you forgiven yourself? I need you to tell yourself I'm not guilty no more. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. No longer bound. Thank you, Lord. God has freed me yes, Lord. through the blood of Jesus Christ. Everything that Jesus, when he died on the cross, he went to the to the cross for everything. All the things that I did wrong. Thank you, Lord. Even before I even got here, yeah, I already paid the price. Yeah. You don't have to go out and do all these other things, but because you paid, because Jesus paid the price, you are free. Yes, Who Thank you, Whom the Son set free is free indeed. He said freedom is in forgiveness. He said, really, before you can free somebody else. I mean, I mean, before you can truly forgive someone else, you gotta learn how to forgive yourself. A little story right here, a familiar story in John chapter 8. Story number 1. John chapter 8, verse number 1. Jesus went into the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning he came again into the temple, mm -hmm. and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and talked them. And the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken into adultery, taken in adultery. 
And when they had set her in the midst, yeah. they say unto him, Master, yeah. this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. All right, it means she was actually going through the process Come on. Uh -huh. when they found her. Yeah, all right, all right. Bishop. They found her not on the assumptions, yeah. but actually in the act. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. How many times have God caught you in the act? Come on, right. come on. Of doing something that you should have been condemned for. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. One thing I love about God is this: He's consistent. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He's consistent, man. And I'm serious. He was consistent back then. He's still consistent now. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. Keep reading. Verse five. Now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned. They so said, they, "What do you say?" Excuse me, I'm sorry. It says she should be stoned. They already yeah. have brought judgment yeah. and condemnation yeah. to her. Yeah. Isn't that what we do? Isn't that what we do? Yes. 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 I'll tell you one thing. We love playing that judge role. Oh, yeah. Yes. We want to judge somebody, boy. Uh -huh. They don't come up to stand they, uh -huh. they don't cross every T and dot every I. We want right. to condemn you them. You the truth? Hell. But look what Jesus said, though. Read it. This they said, tempting him that, he, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down uh -oh. and with his finger wrote on the ground as uh -oh. though he had not heard. Come on. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone uh -huh. at her. All right, check this out. This is what Jesus is doing. While he's doing all that talking and all the stuff they going on, Jesus is like, man, I hear y'all. Hear everything y'all uh -huh. say. Yeah. And they, and they, and see, they thought they had Jesus already wrapped yeah. up in the thing that they said. Yeah. But Jesus is like, man, if y'all, if, if, if she's sin, but who else can't say they haven't sin? Come on, come on. Come on. Now, that's what we come on. Right Jesus had a good, quick answer for him. So, so saying all of this, that when Jesus answered them, then what did they say? And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it being convicted by their own conscience. Oh, hold it. Read that little point again. And they which heard it being convicted by their own conscience. They that heard it convicted by their own Conscious. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it simply, simply means that what they were trying to accuse them for, they had to withdraw it. They had to withdraw. They had to withdraw that. When they with, I'm serious. They had to withdraw. They couldn't no longer use that, even though they saw it. What they are? They saw it happen. Having sex. And they accused us, say, hey, check this out. This woman is caught in the act of adultery. She was guilty. She was. But God, Jesus was checking him and saying, when you guilty of what you did too. Why wouldn't you stone the devil for the thing that you did wrong? Keep reading. And they which heard it being convicted by their own conscience went out one by one, beginning at the eldest even unto the last. And Ooh. Jesus was left standing alone. Hold on now. There was a lot of folks accusing him. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, yeah. There was a lot of different uh -huh. folks accusing him. At the start. Yeah. Come on. But when Jesus got through saying what he had to say, yeah. it wasn't nobody standing but Jesus. What you say? Only the only person. Because see, if Jesus even had sin, he would have had to leave the party as well. That's right. Come on. That's, That's right. right. Okay. And what else did he say after that? Beginning at the eldest, even unto the last, and Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. All right, stop right there. Jesus.
was standing and the woman was standing. Yeah. Everybody else, all her accusers was gone. Uh -huh. So what did Jesus turn around and say? When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Uh -huh. Have no man condemned thee? Hold on now. It was a while uh -huh. back, but all of a sudden, uh -huh. what he at? What he at? Ain't him but me and you standing here. So what happens? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Why? Go and sin no more. Woo! And this is what I'm trying to tell you. Jesus will forgive. No matter what you have done. No matter how bad it was, Jesus will forgive. And what I'm what I'm so amazed and I know about God is this. He will hide you too. He will hide you. He will hide you. Ain't this so amazing though? He didn't even call her name out. No, no. He hid her. He healed her and he forgave her. Yes, he did. He said, go and sin no more. See, what we got to understand is when God let us off the hook and when he forgives us and stuff, it's on the condition that we do the right thing. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. A lot of times absolutely. what we'll do, we'll get free and we'll be so satisfied and happy and then we'll allow that brother to do this to slide right back on him. And what you gotta understand when that happened and stuff, if God had freed you and He allowed you to be free, and you turn around and put yourself in, back in that place again, yeah. then you understand why you get what you get because yeah. the thing is, God said, "Go and sin and sin no, and sin no more." That's right. Mm, thank thank you, Lord. That's so good. And that's what we gotta understand is the only way to be free. We got to forgive. Yes, yes, we can't be so quick to judge people. That's right. We can't be so quick to, uh, to, to condemn them. Amen. That's right. Come on, man. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it, all of us got situations and circumstances yes. and different relationships right, right now yeah. that need to be fixed. Yeah. If you know you have wronged somebody, right. you need to fix it. After hearing this word today, after you have, if you wrong somebody or you know somebody got an all against you, a man with you right now, you need to forgive, you need to fix it and forgive. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It frees you. Yes, Lord. It does not continue to hold you in prison to yourself. Just like I was explaining to you a few minutes ago, when you're in prison, thirty years, twenty years, forty years, whatever that number is. They spend every day of their life while they incarcerated yeah. yes. thinking about the one thing that got them now. Yeah. Jesus. Every day is a constant reminder of what I've done wrong. Yeah. But he said, can you forgive yourself? That's right. And can you forgive your neighbor? That's right. Matthew 5, chapter 5, verse 20 says, he said, for I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the Pharisees and scribes, yes, right you there. shall in no case yes, right. enter into the kingdom okay. of heaven. That's good. That's he it. said, ain't no way you can get in if you're going to walk around like a Pharisee or a scribe. Yeah. Yes, Meaning right. you going always, you going always, you don't have no compassion. Come on. You have no love in your heart. This is what the Pharisees, they was about the law. Yeah. Whatever the law said, and you did it, you deserve this yeah, with no right. compassion. Yeah. He said, you'll never, you'll never be able to get into heaven this way. But I promise you, after hearing this word, if you're walking around in unforgiveness, you walk around in bitterness, you're going to continue to walk around this yeah. way. You'll never free yourself. That's right. That's right. And it's a sad thing to know that I stay in bondage my whole life while I'm here. And then can't get in with God when I leave. The Bible says 
You need to search yourself. It said every man examine himself. Yeah. Whether it's and check and see whether you be in the faith. See whether you be in alignment. That's what it said with my word. My God. There's no need to shout about being victor, uh, being a victorious. No, no need to shout about being free. No need to run around here with my hands up saying I love God yeah. and I can't forgive. Come on, come on. Come on. If I've wronged somebody, if I hurt somebody, I got to get it right. Yeah. Because that's the only way the Father is going to forgive. Yeah, 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 yeah. So today, that the word went forth. Thank you, Father God. If you want to be free, you got to forgive. Oh, yeah. 